Um, you want the Good morning. Yeah, you want you want the Attorney General to review um, the situation. Now, a worry for people is what does review mean? Does review mean not bother? No, no, not at all. What it means, I mean, this, my concerns with these cases started with the Bill Roach case, uh, but I decided not to say anything until the Evans case was over. I didn't want to distort the background to that. But we've seen this in this morning's papers, reports of three of the complainants uh, actually saying we didn't really want to complain, uh, the police persuaded us to. We've seen an MP saying that he was put under pressure to give evidence. Uh, all these sorts of things bring into question, is this being treated in a way which delivers justice? Or are we seeing the police with a weak case then trying to back it up with a whole load of other minor cases? And I'm not just talking about Evans here, I'm talking about well, Roach and, yeah, yeah. and other uh, cases. But, but are you, are you that, saying if that, that these... Is so, yeah. uh, if, if that is so, go on, sorry. No, I was just going to say, but are you implying yeah. that these cases probably only make it into the courtroom because they are Michael Lavelle or they are Bill Roach or they are an MP? Well, that's what we don't know. And that's why I'm asking the Attorney General to look at the way this case was pursued. Look at the techniques used by the uh, police to get the evidence, look at the uh, approach taken by the Crown Prosecution Service. The local Crown Prosecution, the regional Crown uh, Pro Prosecution head, seems very, very aggressive on this. He might be right, I don't know. But it seemed to me from both cases that this, uh, there is a risk, a serious risk, that in an attempt to sort of make up for the real injustices that happened uh, over the non-prosecution of the Saville cases, the police are now l possibly leaning the other way yes. to uh, and creating but, a new set of injustices. But, but now, you, you don't but, create justice yes. by balancing up one injustice with another one. But they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. Well, look, it's difficult, but the, it's very interesting this morning. I mean, pro probably the best director of public prosecutions in modern times is Ken MacDonald. Uh, and he has said this morning that, the, uh, that they have to be very, very careful about not going on a mission. Not, and what, what is he saying by that? He's saying trying to sort of correct the errors of the past by going too far the other way. Uh, they shouldn't be uh, uh, flinching from prosecuting uh, very, very well-known people and celebrities, but neither should be the going on a hunt for them either. So it's a balancing act, but it's about getting it right. It's about yeah. catching the villains, whoever they may be, and then about prosecuting them properly. And Not about throwing everything at somebody in a hope of, a hope of bringing a prosecution. Just got a couple of other questions for you. One is, do you think this is a, a landmark? Sure. Do you think this is a line in the sand that we've reached here? Do you think things are, uh, are going to change after this? Well, I certainly think there, there's going to be some thinking, hard thinking done uh, about how they decide what to prosecute and what not to prosecute. That will happen, whatever happens as a result of this, because I think the Attorney General will have to face, face up to this matter and deal with it. And bear in mind, we've got a really good Attorney General too, and he's got a very strong sense of justice, so I'm pretty sure he'll do something about it. Could I talk to you also, David Davis, about the, um, the culture at Westminster. There's a number of newspaper headlines following allegations um, from one of the young men allegedly abused by Nigel Evans and the headline saying the Independent is the, the House of Ill Refute and you've got it in the mail today as well. And it's talking about a drink fueled and promiscuous culture at Westminster. Is that something you're aware of? Not really. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the best person to ask about the Westminster gay scene, bluntly, um, but the, uh, because I know nothing of it. But the, the simple truth is that you know, it's a very big place. It works long hours. There are a large number of bars. I mean, somebody said that, and they're certainly right about that. Um, uh, and, of course, a lot of business is done in what would normally be a social environment. You've also got um, people who you know, are coming into what you might think of as a, as a glamorous environment. I mean, somebody described politics as showbiz for ugly people. They're probably right. Um, uh, so, you know, it's, a, it's a pretty much of a high-pressure environment. And I suspect some of what we're hearing here uh, is about that. You know, but, but let's be clear about this. You know, Nigel Evans was found not guilty. That means he is innocent of what he's being accused of. And it doesn't really advance the case much for the press to rush off on prurient pursuits, which is what they love doing. Uh, prurient pursuits should give them nice, easy headlines uh, and uh, lots and lots of uh, uh, delicious but, gossip. Yes, but, uh, but as far as I as far as I'm aware, look, as far as I'm aware, you know, I, the, 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 this this whole thing uh, was a hideous error. 
error. It put Nigel Evans through nearly a year of torture. Yeah. Unavoidable. You know, yeah. Unavoidable. Sex cases do put people through misery. Of course but they do. But what, what do they do, uh, what do, they the do about the culture that's there at Westminster? Do you think everybody is much more aware? We were talking about other businesses, other normal companies. They would have an mm. HR department, for instance. You guys, you guys aren't really regulated yeah. like that. You've nobody, you're not accountable to anybody. You're not policed in the same sort of way. You're not disciplined maybe in, in the same sort of way. Do you think it needs somebody to come in there and say, look, this is proper behaviour, uh, this is acceptable in the workplace? This is not. Well, well, they ought to know. I mean, they're all adults. I mean, bear in mind, I came into 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 the house after um, a decade plus, well, two decades in business. Now, uh, there are, there are problems in every organisation, and the bigger the organisation, the more they are. Now, Parliament's a bit different because of the, the the nature of the business, because of the hours done, because of the uh, the, the fact that it's sort of glamorous to some people. Um, uh, but you know there are there are people there are people in the in the House of Commons establishment who are there for advice on human right uh, human uh, resources issues and so on, uh, and they are there. So uh, if if researchers or other people want to go to them, they can uh, and should, frankly, and should.